What is the best video game for couples to play? Little Big Planet. My husband and I have never laughed harder when we were playing the Boomtown level and one of us kept setting off the bombs. My wife doesn't really like video games but she loves playing co-op LEGO Jurassic Park with me. So I think most of the LEGO games would work. They are also great if you want to play with your kids. Lovers in a dangerous space time. You both pilot a spaceship and have to cooperate to complete the levels. It's super fun and the music is great. Gang beasts, trust me you will laugh yourselves to death. And if you like that goofy nonsense. Human Fall Flat is a good co-op puzzle game with the same kind of mechanics. Edit. If you guys want to see some gameplay. I highly recommend Funhouse. They have a few hilarious playthroughs that aren't too long. Stardew Valley. I didn't know it was a two-player game, that's awesome. Overcooked. If you love a cooperation challenge, it could also ruin your relationship. Edit. Ooh Silver. Also, for those looking for a similar experience with less stress, you might try Diner Bros. Though I think it's only on Steam, PC at the moment. My boyfriend always yells at me and barks orders. He's very sweet but the moment we start playing Overcooked he can't seem to hide his disdain and frustration. He doesn't even want to play anymore because he doesn't like who he turns into. Towerfall on the other hand, we're fucking pros. Edit. For a better picture, he basically turns into Dennis Reynolds in Philly traffic. Edit 2. I think some of y'all are reading too much into this. I had so much fun playing this with my girlfriend until she decided to go on break then it became just me trying to race the clock. Me. Babe we need to make tomato soup why are you in the corner? Her. I'm on break. Me. What? Snipper clips. It's for two people and it's where people work together. Edit. Thanks for the awards and upvotes. It means a lot to me. Asterisk asterisk if one of you is a gamer but the other isn't. Asterisk asterisk surprisingly. Pokemon Go. Go for a walk. Talk to each other. Catch critters. Nice casual date. Card games like Hearthstone could be easily learned. And surprisingly I learned recently that non-gamer adults find Spyro to be easily learned in. Enjoyed. Edit 2. Holy crap I forgot about the Jackbox Party games. They're meant more for a group of friends to play. But if my BF and I can get our family members to play it with us. You can pretty much drag along anyone to play it. Lots of trivia games and hilarious stuff. You just need one big screen and your phones to play it. Asterisk asterisk if you both like games but one of you prefers to watch as opposed to play. Asterisk asterisk literally any horror or puzzle game. Note, only play horror games if the player is capable of handling the other randomly dumping at nothing. Or randomly freaking out. No, I'm not saying that as if I'm that person or anything. Asterisk asterisk if you're both gamers looking for a fun time. Asterisk asterisk Stardew Valley. Terraria. The Halo franchise. Portal 2. Dynasty Warriors, any of their Nintendo spin-off counterparts. Diablo 2, Diablo 3. Wow or Destiny. If you're into MMOs. Binding of Isaac. Rebirth. Specifically the anti-birth mod for enhanced fun. We were here and we were here too. Great teamwork games. Asterisk asterisk if you're both gamers and you really want to test the boundaries between fun and rage because. Whatever. Asterisk asterisk overcooked. The older Mario parties. Mario Kart. Manual Samuel. Cook serve delicious. 1 and 2. Octodad. Super Smash Brothers. Unless you're playing with computers and items added. Edit. I wanted to add if you're both gamers and you are also both fans of puzzle games. The Witness is another interesting game. It's mind-boggling and needs to have an evening dedicated to it as well as pen and paper. My boyfriend and I did a playthrough of it. And by the end we had a dozen pictures on our phones and 12 pages of scribbled down nonsense like patients in an asylum slowly going through a mental breakdown. This would be under the rage category mostly. 
but it's by far one of the more memorable experiences I've had with my partner playing video games. Edit 3. Jesus fuck I post this on my lunch break at work and get over 100 messages. Thanks for giving me a heart attack y'all. I kid. Though for real. Some of you reminded me of some great games I forgot. For the more complex communicative or rage inducing games. Cuphead. Surgeon Simulator. Keep talking and nobody explodes. Enter the Gungeon. Bloodborne or Dark Souls if you both have copies of the games. For more accessible, beginner-friendly games. Or for gamers looking for a fun time. Lovers in a dangerous space-time. Borderlands. Guild Wars 2. FF14 and Old School RuneScape for MMO fans. Monster Hunter World. Payday 2. GTA 5 Online. Risk of Rain 2. Rust for the Watchers. Visual novel or story games are definitely a good pick. Until Dawn. Walking Dead. The Wolf Among Us. Life is Strange. The Last of Us. I'm 100% sure I've missed a lot of suggestions. So just keep going through this thread honestly and you'll probably find a lot of suggestions for you and your partner to check out. Terraria is pretty fun for co-op. Came here to say this as Terraria is our go-to game to play together. My wife never got into 3D FPS controls but grew up playing Mario and DK. So the 2D approach in Terraria is great for her. It's a lot of fun. And it works well using phones, tablets as well. My wife and I play Don't Starve together a lot on the PC. We both have our own PCS and it is such a great time. Edit first ever gold. That is awesome, thanks a ton. Besides DST, my wife and I love playing single-player detective games where you need to solve an overarching mystery. We get addicted and we must complete it together and she usually watches and helps solve. While I do the actual playing, they are a slow burn with hardly any action and are great to spend time with a partner on. Examples are, The Paint Creek Killings and Return of the Obra Dinn is our two favorites we spent dedicated time together on. Can't believe I had to scroll this far to see DST good choice though. I used to play it with my ex too. Really teamwork building haha. <laughs> Edit. My very first silver. Thanks friend. Also when I first commented this. DST was all the way down. Hence the scrolling so far. Overcooked. This game is like marriage counseling for us. We either figure it out and work together or we let out our frustrations over how fucking incompetent the other person is. Unravel 2 is super relaxing and cute. All depends on what kind of games you're into. But me and my wife have really enjoyed Asterisk Minecraft. She loves to build. I love to explore and set up farms and shit. Asterisk Resident Evil 5. Nothing is as ostentatious a show of love as saving your wife from a chainsaw man or vice versa. Edit. Vice versa as in me saving her from the chainsaw man. Though I guess in the end he is the one who truly needed saving. Asterisk Rayman Legends. Good platforming fun. You can easily knock your friends into their death though. So this one is a marriage tester. Asterisk Gang Beasts. With other friends as well. She loves this game. Asterisk Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1, 2 thirds. Finding the first two may be tedious edit to find but the third is out on switch and very solid if you like arcadey brawlers asterisk divinity originals in one and two local co-op on ps4 and i think pc as well we love this game it's basically D and D in video game for monsieur asterisk dungeons and dragons we play 3.5 e cause that's what we learned on idm2 campaigns that she is a player in and we also play in two other campaigns that are DM'd by different friends of ours. Asterisk she also just likes to watch me play more cinematic games like The Last of Us. Which she was very invested in. Asterisk we switch off games like Splatoon 2 and Katamari as well. I strive to be in as many D&D &D games as you are, hot damn. Borderlands split screen is great. 
My husband and I always argue about getting the best loot and guns. Edit, lots of folks saying to duplicate loot. Part of the fun is the competition, we have to get the best things first and wind each other up. It's part of our gaming dynamic. My girlfriend and I are waiting for three. Can confirm we fight over loot which usually goes three items for her then one for me. Thank you for watching.